Hello and welcome to my channel Moped Diary Speedies, where we build and ride motorized bikes. For this episode, we'll be doing a short ride on my newly built motorized bike, which I recently built out of an old cruiser bike. Field. Take note that I did not buy a new engine kit, and fortunately, I have parts laying out from my previous builds. This includes the tank, sprocket, throttle assembly, CDI, the engine, and other assorted parts. The engine I'm using is a Firestorm 80Z engine, which I had in my possession. It was refurbished by Dryan de la Peña. All bearings were replaced, ports were ported, and crankset was balanced. And with these modifications done, the engine runs far more smoothly. I no longer have numb hands after this ride, and the power seems to be better. The bike itself is an old cruiser bike with 26 inch wheels. I had to modify the frame to accommodate the disc brake set. Now to talk about the brakes. I am using a dual pull brake lever and a mechanical dual piston character mated to a 203mm rotor on both front and rear wheels. I will put the link in the description below on where I bought those parts. And the stopping power on my setup is good and has modulation. As you know from my previous videos, I had various issues with this motor when I started it up. The first issue was the electricals. I initially installed an old bike bearing stage 1 CDI I bought 2 years ago. However, it no longer seemed to work and I had to put the stock CDI back on. The second problem was the stock MP carburetor. At first, I was dumbfounded on why my carburetor was acting up until I checked the insides and found out that the jet and the brass tube fell off. This is quite a common problem for empty carbs besides the gas leak. Another problem that I encountered is what you call a piston stop. It's quite hard to hear in the video but take my word for me. But a friend of mine who is a two-stroke expert noticed the sound. According to him, this is due to an improper braking procedure in which I am at fault. Nevertheless, fixing that problem would probably be another topic for another video. Now for this short ride, I will roam around our village and go out to the main thoroughfare where we will be sharing the road with cars, jeepneys, motorcycles, and other cyclists. On my journey along the main road, my bike caught the attention of some motorists as you will see in the video. For my personal experience, motorized bikes seem to turn heads. Nevertheless, this short ride was smooth and I had no problems. So tune in again for more episodes and don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications whenever I release a new video. Enjoy! Thank you. 